Hi guys, Bleach here. Welcome to my channel, Bleach PC Garage. Finally getting around to putting this thing back together after two to three years sitting in the garage. And all the nice storage it had, the wheel got broke on it. The other, the one, the front one on the right wobbles a little bit too. But this wheel does not roll straight. It's all broke in the plastic, so I thought about the bright idea to buy a metal wheel and replace it. The plastic one had the other snapper on it the one with the the broken deck and it just broke the wheel from the weight of it on there as we were store everything like an idiot but at least i know how to fix it my mistakes i think i do at least got a good old pair of pants in there for the uh uh mulching plug which will be awesome I'm not going to spend money on a multi-plug. A guy on Facebook, uh, Briggs and Stratton Junkies, I forget his name, he suggested, I think his name was Chet or something, or Chip, Chip, it was Chip, and he suggested I uh, put uh, a chocolate chip uh, batter in there. No, I mean, um, suggested I put a towel in there. He said his towel hasn't uh, come out of there in years, and I thought, towel, maybe a pair of jeans would be much more uh, durable and thicker to go in there and keep the... The grass from coming down there and the stones from hitting you in the face. I gotta get more uh, bolts and stuff. The tractor supply tomorrow for a member for that uh, duck shield or that uh, duck chute there to hold it on there because it'll probably fall off there with a pair of pants and stuff. But uh, those are, uh, I don't know what kind of jeans those are. I'm just about to take them out of there and look for you guys because I'm in the my uh, bedroom making this voice over right now and i don't think it matters what kind of jeans you use as long as they work it's being silly here but you can see that space i use it was the old uh not from a key switch or something there i don't know i hope this works i'll i'll joke around with you a bit but it, guys but uh, that box this is really nice i should have put uh, the box and use that as a wheel or something it's Got out my grinder and reshaped the box and uh, made it to a wheel. I just love how rusty that is. It looks really cool. I love rust on things. There's something about it. I asked the guy if he had the other wheel. I wanted to buy it. And he's like, no, no, no. All I only have is this one. It uh, rusted through the other one and it wasn't usable. I'm like, oh, man. Man, I'm thirsty, you know. I just about I tried to do this voiceover several times, and it just didn't come out like I wanted it. Breer, breer. There's my impact making breer noises. Breer, 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 breer. All right, that's pretty cool. And there's the old plastic wheel on the ground, laying in shame because it didn't work, and the metal one's better. I think that metal one had a spacer in there anyways, back in the day. Because all the ones I've seen in pictures have the nut right about there. Oh man, I got a bad case of the yawns. It's about quarter to midnight as I'm making this. This is pretty, uh... Trying to figure out how to get that old belt off there. It's pretty chewed up. Really chewed up. I just hope that uh, pulley on there is okay. I took the uh, set screw out of it thinking it had to do with that uh, adapter there, but it really doesn't. That adapter is uh, the set screw out of the pulley. The adapter is, uh, wow, what's going on with my sweatshirt? Look at all those blotches and shit. It's pretty awesome how my washer did that. That adapter is held on by the bolt that holds on the, the, uh, the blade, I believe, the blade bolt. Let's keep the adapter on there because it dismounts into a, the hole, the shaft of the engine. My eye is getting aggravated here. I had to sit down. My back was starting to hurt. And um, I just can't uh, stand up like I used to anymore and work on this stuff, sadly. So we got Stooley, the uh, 
bar stool there that'll help me out. I did stand up for the rest of the video, but for what I was doing right here, it was just hard. I even know my body could bend like that, and this makes my back hurt looking at it. I'm like, ouch. But yeah, this is pretty nice working on this thing. Hopefully, I get it to mow. I hope that uh, spacer doesn't affect the bearing or rot it out or something. There's uh, my uh, crowbar there. I tried to get enough of that. This polar did help a bit. And then I used a second smaller polar, which I didn't show in this video. And, uh, and it got it off here. So I was able to pull it off through with my hand. I, 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 I don't know. A little bit of swearing and screaming helped too. Just get really frustrated with these things. I don't scream and swear too much anymore. I do have patience on these things, as you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just really in the, the uh, niche of things and just getting this thing done because it's fun. It took me about an hour and a half to get the, the belt on here and to figure out what I was trying to do. If I uh, done this before, I suppose it took about half hour, 45 minutes, but I never put a uh, 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 self-propelled uh, belt on one of these things before, guys. This is pretty cool, just watching this. Uh, oh, no, and that thing moved on its own. That was scary. Tell me that's not scary. Uh, oh, this was pretty scary. All right, let's try this. Twist, 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 twist. Oh, it's going to fall. Oh, man. What a stupid thing that was. All right. I tried set doing this too, and there's really no place to do it. And I was like, screw it. And after that, I was able to pull it off with my hand, surprisingly. I was quite surprised it wasn't seized on there. I knew it wasn't seized because I was able to pound it up and down with a hammer when I was messing with it. God. <sighs> he's trying to feed the belt on there. I had to take that uh, blade adapter off there to get the belt on there. Only way I knew, guys. Only way I knew. Which is... I just had a little trouble. I thought it was the wrong belt for a uh, guy. Uh, guy on Facebook gave me the... Uh, the... Uh, I'm tired, guys. I'm losing my train of thought. The uh, part number for the belt, basically, guys. They had some awesome-looking pasta on there. Uh, Denny's has got pasta now? I can't be right. It must be some kind of weird-looking kind of pancake-looking pasta or something. I thought it was Applebee's. I'm really tired. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with that dirt bike. I think I'm parting it out, sadly, guys. I... I it looks like it's just a money pit. As fun as it would be to customize your own motorcycle and do it, I don't even think I could ride it because my uh, my uh, back is shot and my my left leg is having problems with pain. And when I get up lately out of a chair, I stumble when I walk, which isn't good. So I'm trying to correct that problem and walk on the track at the Y and and uh, stay active. Just so I don't uh, turn into a lump with a Diet Pepsi in a chair sitting all day. That's no life to live. Freaking Diet Pepsis and sitting in a chair watching your guys' YouTube videos because I'm in too much pain to do my own. Hope it never comes to that. But uh, I don't want to say I just work through the pain. I'm sadly I'm used to it. Sadly it gets to the point where I can't deal with it, but what can you do? I, I don't know, I think it's got enough oil in here. I remember I drained I don't know if I drained some of it out or what, but it was smoking pretty bad one that one year from having too much oil in it. 
I started it up recently and didn't smoke. So I know it's okay. Just trying to get that pulley even before I put the set screw in. Had to find a teeny tiny little uh, Allen wrench key to fit in my socket to make it work. My tool, I'm just losing tools everywhere. I'm trying to keep the ones I mainly use on a main edit tray that work on the main sockets for those mowers. And some of them just get lost in 10 millimeter land. Yeah. I like to go to 10 millimeter land, guys. But, uh, no, not really, because I, I don't know where, I don't know where, I, I know where my 10 millimeters are, guys. I don't know about you, I can, my 10 millimeter wrenches. What about the 11 16th wrench? I lost that today, the one that I was uh, using on that polar and on the, uh, the wheel, I now can't find it. I looked in the drawer with all the other wrenches. It's not there. I looked in the top of the stuff where I like to set stuff. It's not there. I didn't leave it on the ground anywhere that I know of. It's miraculously disappeared. And then probably when I go to look for something else that I need, I'll find that and the other thing. I did find my uh, black extension, which I probably think is gone by now again. Just put it on there, bleach, and look at it really well. Well, this is working out. There's something really weird on Tosh.0 right now. I don't want to say what's happening, but it's funny. Something about a parlor or something. I don't know, aired today, some kind of parlor. But well, we won't get into that. Let's just figure out what we're doing this lawnmower, guys. Let's get near the end. I'm getting it back together. The blades on it. I did pull the pole string with the deck, the 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 the, the self propulsion uh, gauge, but uh, handle engaged, and the wheels do move now. So it's gonna work, I think, which is pretty awesome. But I'm gonna. And here, guys, I'm just showing you how I got the belt through there and I lifted it up right there. Lifting up the pulley, just lift the belt through there, the rubber disc. But I love you guys. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Peace. Love you. See you guys. Enjoy yourselves on YouTube. Bye. Love you.